So at Pharmacology 2013, I was awarded the AstraZeneca Prize for Women in Pharmacology. So I was giving the, the prize lecture and that was a, a huge honour and a great privilege. It sort of allows me to give back a little bit to the society that's underpinned my research for so many years. My lecture was divided into two parts. The first part was to explain a little bit about my background and my career and how I came to be studying pharmacology and in particular pharmacology of the pulmonary circulation and also to explain um, to youngsters and women in the audience how I balanced my family life with my career. Um, I brought up my children on my own and so I tried to explain um, how you can balance both career and family and it's extremely possible. The other half of my lecture was on the research that I've been doing over the last 10-15 years to try and explain um, how serotonin is involved in pulmonary hypertension and more recently how um, and why uh, fourfold more women get pulmonary hypertension than men. It's a very big challenge to treat pulmonary hypertension. It's a very complicated disease and even with treatment the survival of the patients isn't improving radically. So there's a great need to understand the pharmacology of the pulmonary circulation and um, how that changes in pulmonary hypertension so that we can design new drugs and uh, hopefully uh, improve the survival or even reverse the disease in, in humans. Over 80% of cases of pulmonary hypertension... Have the pulmonary artery smooth muscle cell in females is very different from that in male, of male pulmonary artery smooth muscle cells. They have an increased influence of oestrogen, synthesis of oestrogen, synthesis of serotonin, um, derangements of key signaling pathways that may predispose them to the disease. I think the take home message is that science is like a jigsaw puzzle and there's all parts of the puzzle and we need to put them all together to see the big picture. But really, we're never ever going to see the big picture because there'll always be parts of the puzzle that are missing or bits that don't fit. And in pulmonary hypertension, there's so many different things you have to reconcile. There's the gender difference, there's the proliferative effect of the disease, the contractile effect of the disease, there's the underlying genetic defect. And nobody's yet cracked pulmonary hypertension. There's a lot more pieces still to, to fit into the puzzle. Um, but it's a really exciting disease to study as a pharmacologist. It's very interesting pharmacology and it um, never fails to inspire me on a daily basis. <laughs>